This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 617, How to Identify and Manage Stress as a Content Creator, and a simple exercise to help you feel more aligned with your content creation, both by Greg Audino with Vibly.io. And I'm Dan, I am your host here, and uh, welcome to Optimal Startup Daily. This is where I read to you from some of the best blogs on entrepreneurship, and I do that every single day, including weekends and holidays. And today I'm gonna share two shorter posts with you. So with that, let's get right to them and start optimizing your life. How to Identify and Manage Stress as a Content Creator by Greg Audino with Vibly.io. Like many busy professionals or self-proclaimed overachievers, content creators often make the mistake of thinking that feeling stressed is necessary for success. This mentality negatively affects us in many ways, including in our professional lives, because we are not creating work from a clear headspace, making us more prone to prioritizing quantity over quality, and in our personal lives, because we start to identify stress as normal and almost inevitably something to be proud of. It's key to understand that we can push ourselves and experience challenges, but manage it all in such a way that it doesn't become stressful. Therefore, feeling stressed is not necessary. Break down challenges to avoid stress. If you're a content creator feeling stressed out, it's critical to not lump the stress together and not mistake it for being larger than it is. Instead, ask yourself, what specifically am I stressed about? Let's look at some common stressors for content creators and how we can break them down into easy, bite-sized chunks. One, I don't have time for other things. What don't you have time for? and how can you schedule your creation in such a way to allow for those things? Rather than having a push through everything no matter what work mentality, instead reflect on how you can organize your time in such a way that you're still able to fulfill your values. For example, if date nights are important to your partner and you value your partner over your work, then talk with your partner about specific times that you'll go on dates or be together without distraction and schedule work around them. Two, I'm out of creative ideas. Creators can take a similar approach when it comes to creativity. Reflect on the things in your life that fuel creativity, be it going to a museum, reading books, spending time in nature, or anything else. Consider devoting specific time to tending to these sources of creativity without distraction, and allowing yourself to simply indulge in them without putting pressure on yourself to have a masterful idea on the other side. 3. I don't feel my work is meaningful. Why not? What does meaningful work look like to you? And what does a meaningful work life look like to you? Paint a detailed picture of what your perfect workday would look like, both in terms of the work you're doing and how you're doing it, and look for opportunities to bridge the gap and introduce more of your core values into your daily routine. And four, I'm not getting enough sleep or exercise. Maybe what feels like mental stress is actually just physical. And while you're able to churn out quality content with a smile on your face, The real problem is that you're neglecting sleep and or exercise. Use this as yet another opportunity to set up boundaries around your work and create a schedule based on when would be an appropriate time to start work, stop work, nap, or exercise. When we get carried away by stressful feelings, we confuse the true sources of stress and become suspicious or resentful of things that are actually going quite well. Name the specifics of your stress and regain control by creating a work schedule that permits enough time and respect to whatever is troubling you. Now I've got another post coming right up, but first, for your company's next hire, you know you want them to have great problem-solving skills and think like an entrepreneur. The thing you need help with? How to find them. Easy, you need Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed is a powerful hiring partner that can help you do it all. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so easy because with virtual interviews, Indeed saves you time. You can message, schedule, and interview top talent seamlessly all in one place. Join more than 3 million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. Sign up for Indeed now and get a $75 credit towards your first sponsored job. Plus, earn up to $500 extra in sponsored job credits with Indeed's virtual interviews. Visit indeed.com slash startup to learn more. Claim your credits at indeed.com slash startup. 
indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. A Simple Exercise to Help You Feel More Aligned with Your Content Creation by Greg Audino of Vibly.io. Even though content creators are known for crafting a work life that's based around something they're passionate about, they can still find themselves feeling out of alignment and wondering where the fulfillment has gone. Whether or not you are a content creator, managing these feelings can be difficult. When the only options seem to be extremes of either suffering each day or quitting to try something new, it's important to know how to test the middle ground before making a big change. To help bridge the gap, ask yourself what your perfect workday would look like. Get specific. You're allowed to be unrealistic, but you're not allowed to be vague. Paint a very clear picture by reflecting on where you're working and what the room looks like, what time you're working and for how long, what you're wearing, what you're doing before and after work, who's with you when you work, if anyone, what you're having for lunch, when you're taking breaks, how long you're taking them for and how you're spending them, who you're helping, how you're responding to self-doubt or other negative feelings associated with work, and what you're feeling when you wake up and when you go to bed. Other questions to help sharpen your vision might be, one, how am I currently uneasy with my work day? Maybe your eyes hurt, or you hate the idea of being so plugged in all day. That might mean that your perfect work day includes a pair of blue light-blocking glasses or setting up your workstation outside. Perhaps you hate being stationary all day. In that case, your perfect day could include a standing desk or particularly active breaks. And two, what are my core values? An efficient question to ask in the face of any problem is what your core values are. Identify these meaningful aspects of life that really drive you and look for ways to integrate them into your workday. If family is an important value, but you live far from them, maybe calling home before and after work is part of your perfect workday. If music means a lot to you, be deliberate in the background music you put on while you're working. How to make your vision a reality. Before changing careers, consider the perfect workday you've envisioned and start moving in that direction little by little. For example, say part of your vision includes you working in an executive office, wearing a suit, going in at 6 a.m. and leaving by noon. Right now, however, you're working in the spare bedroom of your apartment in your pajamas and starting work at 9 a.m. Starting small might mean going out and buying a suit to start wearing and challenging yourself to wake up a half hour earlier each day for the next six days. It might also mean researching office spaces in your city and putting a budgeting plan together so you can get yourself into one sooner than later. You're allowed to feel out of alignment with your work. It's okay to be questioning the value but continuing to try it anyway. Sometimes more alignment comes with a better routine surrounding the work rather than the work itself. What are some ways you can challenge yourself right now to build a better work day? You just listened to the posts titled How to Identify and Manage Stress as a Content Creator and A Simple Exercise to Help You Feel More Aligned with Your Content Creation, both by Greg Audino with Vibly.io. And thank you to Greg. Greg Audino is a Rhode Island-born certified life coach and graduate of Goucher College. As an actor, he has had principal roles on shows like Westworld and NCIS. He's also the host of Optimal Relationships Daily another podcast in our network where he reads content to you covering all types of relationships and then also answers listener questions and offers solutions to common everyday struggles. So definitely check that out. You can always search for Optimal Living Daily in your podcast app to find all of our podcasts. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you enjoyed these two posts from Greg and I will see you right back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.